today, let's talk gratitude and facts. I have a few common phrases I want to share with you, some vocabulary, a specific thing I want to tell you about pronunciation, and of course, a bit of my story about gratitude. Welcome to English Coach 3Ts. I'm Tanya, and every November I spend a little extra time speaking about gratitude. But that doesn't mean I think about it only in November. This is a practice that I started more than 30 years ago that has changed my life for the better. But I don't want you to believe me just because I told you. In fact, I'd like to talk about the difference between an opinion and a fact. So speaking about a fact, that word is difficult to say by itself. Fact, because it has that K-T sound in it. K-t. But add the S and it has always been a word I'm not sure I'm pronouncing correctly. Even before starting this video, just to check, I went to youglish.com to see how they were saying it. This video is not sponsored. They're not paying me anything to tell you this. I just love youglish.com when it comes to pronunciation. Because let's face it, there is fact and what is correct. And then there's what works and what is being used regularly. For example, if everyone is saying facts, then is this correct? Sometimes I talk about this in other videos, but you'll know that I say that what everyone is using, as long as it's not hurting anyone, and it in this case is communicating what you want to say, then this is a good thing to do. It's what I call commonly correct. So there's my little tip for you about pronunciation, but let's go back to talking about opinion and fact. So I shared with you that I started a gratitude practice many years ago, and it has changed my life for the better. And in fact, if you ask people in the United States, eventually you'll get to someone who says that gratitude is something that really makes their life better. So is this real? Is there scientific proof? You could do some research on this, and if you do, I recommend doing it in English so that you can keep working on your English fluency while you're researching this particular thing. But I want to give you something to think about. I want to share with you my experience of how gratitude has changed my life. And in fact, you can watch one of these videos here to see more about it. But I don't want you to take my word for it. When we say don't take my word for it, what we mean is you don't have to believe me. I'm going to share my experience and you take what you like and leave the rest. What works for you, keep using it. What doesn't work for you, you don't have to use it. And try what I'm saying. See if it works for you. This is proving it for yourself. And I think this is a really important life skill. One that I wasn't taught as a young child, but I learned to use this life skill and I keep honing it, meaning I keep working on it and getting better and better at it. I use gratitude as a daily practice and so every day I make a list of all the things I'm grateful for, but I also use it throughout my day. I'd like to challenge you to give this practice a try. And if you're doing your gratitude list in English, at the very least, you're learning more English and strengthening your fluency. So you really have nothing to lose. I suggest that you give it a fair shake. When we give something a fair shake, we just mean try it, actually give it the time and the energy it needs to see if it works. And if it works, 
you have something new for practicing your English. And quite frankly, for me, it has made my whole life better. I use this as a way to reduce stress and to keep myself from feeling anxious. And I often use it as a way to help me fall asleep at night. Are any of the phrases that I've used here that you've seen on the screen new for you? Learning new phrases and pronunciation like I have shown you here can be a little tricky when you're not exactly sure what the best way to practice is. That's why I have created a free class for women who have a B1 to C1 level in English. In this class, I'm going to share with you how you can practice in a simple way that's fun and easy for you to do that actually works. If you'd like to learn my three secrets to becoming more fluent, then click the link in my description here to sign up for free or go to the link that you see on your screen. When I was doing some research for this video, I decided to ask ChatGPT a little bit about what we've been talking about here today. And I want to read to you a little so that you can hear it, but also practice reading with me on your screen and learn a little bit about this particular topic. I asked ChatGPT, is it a fact that a gratitude practice can make your life better? And it said, the idea that a gratitude practice can make your life better is supported by a growing body of research and anecdotal evidence. While I'm reading here, be sure to read along with me. Read out loud to improve your speaking skills and go back and see if you can make your speaking sound just like mine. If I scroll down the screen a little bit, ChatGPT says, some potential benefits of such practices include improved mental health, enhanced relationships, better physical health, increased resilience, enhanced well-being. Pause your screen here to read a little bit more about what ChatGPT says, and be sure you read to the end to get all the information it has to share. There's so much information about being grateful and creating a gratitude practice. But again, don't believe me or ChatGPT or anything you find on the internet. Try it and practice yourself and see how it works for you. If you don't want to be grateful, don't be grateful. Don't do it. But if you're looking for a way to improve your life and also learn English at the same time, I challenge you to give this a try and tell me what you think about it because I love hearing all the stories that people have shared with me over the years while they've given this a try and started something new. And if you're interested in more information about my experience with gratitude, be sure you go and watch this video next and I'll see you there.